Let's solve this equation using u substitution. So first what we want to do is we want to figure out how we can change x to the fourth into u squared, okay? So what we're going to do first is let's just review. So let's review some of our exponent rules. I know that x to the fourth is the same thing as x to the two times two, which is the same thing as x squared squared. Well, that's pretty cool because what if, so what if I let u equal x squared? Well, in that case, we would have u squared. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to let u equal x squared. So we're going to have u squared minus 52u, because remember, u is x squared, plus 576 equals 0. Now we need to factor it. So we need to think of things, or I should say numbers, that multiply to 576, but also adds to negative 52. Well, in this case, it's going to be, we're going to have negative 16 times negative 36, because negative 16 plus negative 36 is our negative 52. And these happen to be our magic numbers. So we're going to have u minus 16 times u minus 36 equals 0. Now we need to solve using the u. So we have u minus 16 equals 0. u minus 36 equals 0. I'm going to add 16. So u equals 16. I'm going to add 36. So u equals 36. But now we have to remember that x squared is u. So we're going to substitute that back in. So we're going to have x squared equals 16. x squared equals 36. Now I might want, I do want to mention that some instructors will substitute x squared in right here. No problem, because we're going to end up with the same answers. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. So x equals plus or minus 4, all right? We're going to take the square root of both sides. So x equals plus or minus 6. Now we need to go back and we need to make sure that these are our answers. So what we're going to do, now for these, I'm pretty sure these are going to be our answers because our u substitution and our original, we don't have any square roots. We don't have any um, x to the negative 1 anything like that, but we should still check them. So once you put in all of our solutions, and you put that in your calculator, each of these will equal zero. So our solution set is negative four, four, negative six, and six. Cool. And you did it.